Hi guys, okay, this is a lubricant test load machine. It tests friction, it burns, okay, it burns the lubricant by turning, by creating friction. Okay, how does this thing in short work? Let me introduce you, uh, how does it work? This is an electric motor, okay? So the electric motor will turn this wheel and this wheel, that's a pulley, okay? It will turn this, then it will turn the wheel here. Right, motor turn this belt, belt turn this pulley, pulley turn this wheel here together is link. Okay, there's one wheel here. This wheel will turn this small little wheel here, and this wheel. Okay, there's two pivot point here at the front. One pivot point, two pivot point. See, okay, one pivot, two pivot point. So this here, this part here will actually add weight. Let me try to show you. Okay, let me show this side. So when I lift this thing down, okay, can you see? So when this thing goes down, I move, you see? Okay, so this thing goes down, it pushes this part up and it pushes this part down. So the loading here itself, there's a few way of calculation. Uh, well, the professional, some of the motor oil industry, they actually consider this 1 kg okay as 600 kg downforce 1 kg is to 600 kg and um, some other mats they calculate as 1 is to 20 okay 1 kg is to 20 or 30 kg I want to 1 is to 30 kg but anyway it's a lot of load all right it's a lot of load so as a, there's a few other ways of how people calculate this downforce friction test also so this thing is how how does it work? I will add weight, okay. I will put the lubricant here, and the wheel will keep turning. It will keep turning, creating a lot of friction, and the friction will start to burn. We start to create heat, right? And it will start to burn off the lubricant. Okay, it will start to dry out and burn off the lubricant. Whichever whichever lubricant that carries the most weight is actually the lubricant that can resist heat and friction. The most okay you guys know about my more better grease right my cheesy my cheesy grease so right now real spa or me i'm going to work with a company that deals with a very special a very unique russian product okay which, which reduce a lot of uh, friction and it's mainly we call the ion technology no more nanotech it's considered as ion technology so, um, of course, people will start to ask what to compare with other kind of grids. Sorry guys, for now, I'm not ready to compare with any other kind of grids because it's very subjective and um, it's very so-called uh, political. I can only right now demonstrate to you my own grids instead of trying to compare with other people as well. So, hope you understand. I don't want to get into too much politics with other people's product for now until I get a green light. Okay, so I can only concentrate and demonstrate to you my own product. Okay, I'm gonna do a live one, no cut, no editing, no tricks. Okay, see, this is a cut surface. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna turn just slightly a bit. I'm gonna lock. See, brand new surface. And I'm going to do two demonstrations. One is, I'm going to let it dry, let it load. One start to have friction. Then I add the grease. Then you pay attention to the ampere, the needle itself. Okay. The second demonstration, same, no tricks. I am going to straight away load. Okay, I'm straight away going to load with the lubricant on. And you compare, but of course, you're gonna change the surface on the second demonstration. And you're gonna compare the first and second surface. What is the consequences and what are the results? Okay? No tricks, no editing. On. In. Load.
Once I start to see smoke come out, I'm gonna add this. Because before I, I don't know, if I don't add the whole machine will jam and it will defeat my demonstration. Whoops. Okay. The new more better grease added. Take a look. I'm gonna add until it jams up, okay? See the film starts to come out already. I'm not gonna anything, I just gonna ease a bit whatever excess that's on, on it. But anyway, not much of a difference. Okay, I'm gonna add until it jams up. See the smoke? It's full loaded. Okay, you guys see. Block of smoke. I'm gonna hold the machine because it's gonna pop down. Okay. So you can see the amount of load and the uh, the time the duration okay right now gonna remove this it's gonna be very hot at how deep it's been cut from no grease until it added grease and until it stopped burning it stopped moving sorry it burns till it dry out and it's what this is what is left okay i'm gonna shift the position straight away with grease and you compare okay you compare the amount gonna be cut look and I say again, this is gonna be live, no editing. So in case anybody will say, ah, there are some editing here, there's tricks on it. Okay, it's freaking hot. Uh, let me get my tweezer, hold on. Okay, tweezer. Gonna turn to a new surface. I'm gonna turn this side. So you guys can compare later. Okay, this is a new surface. Lock it. The reason is I'm gonna do it now with grease on. It's gonna show you if you were to add the grease on before friction start to you know, destroy all your parts. Okay, you're gonna see the before and after. Right, let me show you now. Okay, I'm 
then here I go. Hot, 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 hot. There's a slight disadvantage because this thing was hot already, okay? Six block. But you compare the surface, eh? Let, let me show you the surface. Can you see? Before. With grease on. Without grease, then with grease. Can you see the two difference? The machine jammed at such a small cut because the pulley itself was very hot. I did not wait for it to cool down and I do a fair demonstration. In fact, I straight away load it when it's still very, very hot. But look at the surface. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching the video. This is not a perfect demonstration because due to uh, a lot of I'm sure I'm, I'm doing this video by myself. Okay. So pardon me if it's not very clear, but what I want to show is the amount of stress and load this crease can take. Okay. And of course my second demonstration wasn't very fair as the pulley itself over here it's still very hot and I just continue to load it but you know it did last with six block okay and with very very little cut so imagine if I were to start it cool when it's cold it's gonna hold the full 10 blocks okay at that amount of cut compared to, to the one before okay thanks for watching